bettors are expected to wager more than $160 billion during the 2022 World Cup. With that much money sloshing around the betting markets, FIFA has enlisted SportRadar, a Switzerland-based sports data and technology company, to monitor every bet and look out for irregularities. The world of soccer is no stranger to match-fixing scandals and SportRadar says it has identified more than 700 matches so far this year that have been manipulated by players or officials. Andreas Granich, the managing director of Sportradar's Integrity Services division, likens players and officials fixing a game to executives on Wall Street making well-timed stock trades. Match fixing is like insider trading, says Granich. Someone has insider information and they're betting on it. But Sportradar is not monitoring all 64 matches of the World Cup alone. This year, FIFA put together an integrity task force composed of Sport Radar, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the International Criminal Police Organization, Interpol, and the International Betting Integrity Association, IBIA, ESPN first reported. Match fixing may seem outlandish and far-fetched, but it isn't. At least one player currently in the World Cup has been accused of manipulating a regular season match. The best-known example of modern-day match-fixing happened on November 12, 2016, during a qualifier match between South Africa and Senegal for the 2018 World Cup. Joseph Lamptey, a Ghanaian soccer referee, awarded a sham penalty kick to South Africa. The penalty was for a handball, but the ball clearly hit Senegal defender Kaladu Kolabuli on his leg. South Africa won 2-1.